Hello, friends. Great to be with you tonight. It's great to be back together whenever you're jumping into this time with us. It's a beautiful night in Sarasota, Florida, and it's great to be back in the studio again. Me and Josiah are here, and praise God. Coffee is brought to you tonight by Bob Evans, down on the farm. Just kidding. They are not an official sponsor, but is definitely helping tonight. All right. Well, Father, we just thank you for our time together. Thank you for your presence, Lord. Thank you for your goodness. It's such a, a beautiful week, Lord, here in Florida. We thank you for the, the reopening, Father, of our great state, our forerunner state. We thank you for this reopening. We thank you for your blessing of favor resting upon us, Lord. We thank you that you're moving throughout our state even now through phase one. Lord, I just thank you for all of our businesses that are opening even now, those that are going back to work even now. I thank you for fresh joy, inspiration, strength from the Holy Spirit, Lord. I thank you for creativity. I thank you for innovation. I thank you for prosperity returning to the great state of Florida and to the United States of America. And Father, we are declaring an ultimate comeback a turnaround by your power and by your anointing. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. So again, we want to thank you for being with us. Um, it's always nice to be with you. It's, it's a blessing and it's a privilege to be together. We're thankful that we, we have the technology to do this big time. And uh, so we have a great thankful heart. It's good to be thankful, amen? And we have so much to be thankful for. So I, I just want to begin tonight with a uh, scripture right out of the book of Proverbs, uh, Proverbs chapter 11, and I'm going to be reading out of the Passion Translation tonight, verses 10 and 11. Again, this is Proverbs chapter 11, verses 10 and 11 out of the, passage, uh, the, <laughs> the Passion Translation. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're back. Verse 10. The blessing that rests on the righteous releases strength and favor to the entire city. That is powerful. The blessing that rests on the righteous releases strength and favor to the entire city. But shouts of joy will be heard when the wicked one dies. My God, that, that is strong. Verse 11 the blessing of favor resting upon the righteous. That, that just feels good to read and declare. The blessing of favor resting on the righteous influences a city to lift it higher, but wicked leaders tear it apart by their words. I want you to recognize again tonight or whenever you're jumping in with us this evening that there is the blessing of the Lord and the favor of the Lord that rests on the sons and daughters of God. I like to say it like this. You know, in Proverbs chapter 28, verse 1, it says that the righteous are bold as lions. And I like to say it like this. The future belongs to the righteous. Why don't you say that with me right now? The future belongs to the righteous. Amen. There's a blessing that rests on God's sons and daughters, his righteous ones. But it says that when we release this blessing and favor, it gives strength and favor to an entire city. Let us never underestimate the power of the Holy Spirit within us to release favor and blessing to our city, to our region, to the entirety of our nation and to the nations of the earth. Amen? And once again, it says the blessing of favor resting on the righteous influences a city to lift it higher. Hallelujah. That's who we are. We're lifters. We're builders. We're menders. We're restorers. We're repairers of the breach. Amen? Praise God. I, um, I just want to, for just a moment, uh, direct our attention really to our church family corporately. We had an amazing, amazing reopening this past Saturday night at Victory, a church of His presence. And many of you were with us online, but many of you came 
and were in the sanctuary worshiping with us. It was such a mighty time to be back together, a powerful corporate time of worship. Worship was just off the charts. Josiah saying, yes, it was. It was awesome. It was powerful. And um, my goodness, I mean, it was just so great to welcome you guys home and to hug your necks and um, just to be together. So thanks be to God. It's wonderful. I want to encourage you, um, if you missed the message or perhaps you want to go back and get the message one more time that we released um, Saturday night, it's the message authority establishes, I'm sorry, revelation establishes authority. I got to get that right. Revelation establishes authority. I want to encourage you, if you haven't heard the message yet, go back to our podcast. Of course, you can find it right there at victoryfla.com. And so praise the Lord. Um, this is an amazing week. This this is a historic week. This, this is a week that's going to go down in the history books as the state of Florida is now reopening throughout the, all of this um, wild time of the coronavirus, the shutdown, this quarantine. And now we are reopening, and thanks be to God. And I, I also, I, I just believe it needs to continue to be heralded, to be said. We owe honor to Governor Ron DeSantis and his leadership in this hour. This, this is so key, so important. And I, I personally, I want to say I'm thankful that Governor Ron DeSantis hasn't been uh, duped by this engineered chaos that's been spawned upon us. And well, I'll get more of that later. Um, but I'm also thankful for those in our own congregation that are able to go back to work right now. And there's a lot of joy and celebration amongst us. And so, again, we want to thank um, Governor Ron DeSantis in phase one as we're beginning to reopen the state. There. There's a buzz in our city of Sarasota. I know there's a buzz throughout the entirety of the state of Florida. Um, lots of businesses reopen, reopening, lots of uh, restaurants reopening, and it's a wonderful, wonderful time, and it needs to be celebrated. I just thank God for good leadership. You know, I, I, I remember it was John Maxwell that said, um, everything rises and falls upon leadership. Everything rises and falls on leadership. I want you to think um, right now, it was only three weeks ago that Andrew Gillum, who was the Democratic nominee for running for governor, he was found in a hotel room, all drugged up, drunk with two other men. They found drugs throughout the hotel room and methamphetamines. And there he was not long ago running for the governorship of the state of Florida. Uh, think about that. Let that just let that sink in right now. Uh, what a mess that would have been for the leadership of the state of Florida. And um, yeah, moving right along, moving right along back to the good news. The good news is, is that we've got tremendous leadership happening right now under the watch of Ron DeSantis. And let us continue to con continue to pray for him and his wife, Casey to continue to surround them. Um, I said Saturday night, a consistent prayer that I always use um, for our leaders is Psalm 3.3. For thou, O Lord, you are a shield about me. You are my glory. You are the lifter of my head. And uh, we, of course, we pray this over President Trump all the time, that the Lord would be like a wall of fire and a shield about him. And that the Lord is his glory, he's the lifter, he's the encourager. Again, there's that word again, he's the lifter. Remember the blessing that rests on us, what does it do? It lifts a city, it lifts the state, it lifts the nations and nations of the earth. Amen? Are you shouting amen out there? I can't hear you. Okay, and we're back. <laughs> so, all right, um, very important update for our church. We um, we have National Day of Prayer coming up, National Day of Prayer, this Thursday night, beginning at 6.30, hosted by Sarasota House of Prayer. You don't want to miss it. We're going to be having a special gathering here at the campus. It is hosted uh, by Sarasota House of Prayer, and the meeting is going to be taking place at Restoration Fellowship. For those of you in the region or in the city, that's at 5614 Richardson Road. Sarasota, Florida. 
That's National Day of Prayer. That's this coming Thursday night at 6.30, again, hosted by Sarasota House of Prayer. My wife and I are going to be part of the uh, team of leadership that's going to be praying for our city, our state, and, of course, the country uh, from coast to coast. And while we're just speaking of the Sarasota House of Prayer, I really want to give honor and thanks to Roger and Jennifer Lee. Their ministry is such a burning furnace for this region. In fact, um, our daughter, uh, Victoria, is about to graduate from Sarasota House of Prayer in just a couple of weeks. But their ministry down there is a phenomenal ministry. We partner with that ministry. We love them very much. We intercede. We pray for them. We support them financially, um, not only personally, but as a, as a ministry. And I encourage you to do the same if you're in the region and you're looking for a place to sow uh, good seed into good ground. Uh, also, man, we've got a huge weekend coming up. It is Mother's Day. Mother's Day is coming up. A great time of celebration. And I really look forward to celebrating two of the most special women in my entire life. Uh, that's Josiah's mom, my wife, uh, Bren, and uh, the first lady of Victory, a church of his presence. And um, I look forward to celebrating my wife, so thankful for her, and to be able to celebrate my mom, who's about to fly down from Illinois and be with us for Mother's Day. So it's going to be an absolute joy uh, for this Mother's Day 2020, celebrating Mother's Day together. And I want to encourage all of you this weekend in part of your celebration, make sure, please don't miss Saturday night. My goodness, we... This past Saturday night was so phenomenal. I, I cannot wait to get together again and begin to enter into our worship and see what the Lord releases amongst us. And so as part of your Mother's Day weekend, please join us Saturday night. That's this Saturday night at 6 p.m. Another reminder, um, we are about to launch and kick off a, a brand new podcast called The Torch. And... Uh, we are we are just about to release this in the next couple of weeks, and this <laughs> I just want to. I guess I should give a warning. This is not going to be a, a podcast that's going to uh, rival chicken noodle soup for the soul. Um, there there is going to be a strong strong intensity upon this podcast called the torch. Uh, I'm going to be presenting biblical uh, perspectives for cultural. And current events in this hour, I'm going to be focusing on personal revival, um, contending for national awakening and reformation, generational reformation, and specifically um, with the torch. I, I really want to speak to those who long to become a real voice for God. Uh, that's specifically what this torch podcast is about. Those who desire to be um, agents of change, those that desire to be a bold and courageous witness and a voice for God in this hour to speak to the culture. This is such a critical hour. And so I look forward to being with all of those that would like to jump in with us for the torch, for those that are who have burning hearts out there and that are firebrands and mighty patriots, especially for our nation right now. And so I encourage you to be part of that. And on the behalf of my wife and I and Victory and Light the Fire Ministries, um, we want to bless you. We want to thank God so much for you. want to thank God for your love. want to thank God for your partnership, your, your faithfulness. I want to thank all of our partners out there around the country who are standing with our ministry. Um, we, we couldn't do it without you. It's just the truth. And um, I want to thank you so much uh, for standing with us during this this critical time, um, encouraging us. Thank you for your notes of encouragement. You know, thank you for those who who are writing us, whether it's email or or the cards that have been sent in to um, recently to our ministry. I want to thank you so very much for that. I want to thank all of those who are who are consistently partnering with us at VictoryFLA.com. Those that are giving and standing with us, and uh, we greatly appreciate it. You know, there's so many there's so many phenomenal ministries out there to sow into, and you need to sow where God speaks to you. Uh, my wife and I, we've been married 
for this summer uh, will be 25 years. We've been in full-time ministry this summer, 25 years. There's phenomenal ministries throughout all of the earth that, that are worthy to be sowed in. There are also things that are unworthy to be sowed into, but there are ministries that are worthy to be sowed in who have um, who handled themselves with a sacred trust, with integrity concerning their finances, concerning the vision, concerning the gospel, the faithfulness and the integrity of the gospel going forth. And it's so important uh, to sow your seed into good ground. And I, uh, on the behalf of my wife and I, our ministry, we want to thank you for sowing into Light the Fire Ministries and Victory, a church of his presence. Thank you so much. So um, today, tonight, whenever you're jumping in and grabbing a hold of this, on the behalf of all of us, I want to thank you so very much. And I'm Brian Gibbs, and I approve this message. <laughs> Have a blessed night. Have a blessed day. And uh, we will see you very soon. And again, I look forward to seeing those that are hungry for more on the torch. Make it a great day and be blessed. Good night.